hello there okay so i just wanted to come back to you with a little bit of an update on the whole asbestos in makeup situation because i've not really put anything up relating to this in a not like a huge while but in a short while and i'm just conscious that you may be thinking like has Anwin just kind of you know washed her hands of it is she not interested anymore like is that kind of over for her but I just wanted to reassure you that, that that could not be further from the truth the mission continues so in this video today I wanted to just let you know that I am still pursuing trying to understand the whole situation more I am undertaking some action in terms of contacting as many makeup brands as I can whether they're super high-end like Christian Dior, Estee Lauder or whether they're more affordable brands like Han Diane, Kim Hughes, um, Focalior. So I've been reaching out to as many brands as I can and I have been asking the exact same question which is do you regularly test for asbestos in your cosmetics if yes how frequently do you test so like i.e what is your regime do you test every three months every six months on an annual basis or do you test whenever you are creating a new product um because i think it's really really important to a find out do they test for asbestos but B, how regularly? Because they could say, yes, we test, but they could test maybe once every 10 years, which really is not helpful at all. So I have asked that question across the board to numerous different brands. As yet, I've had, well, I've had responses from Beauty Glaze and You Can Be, but other than those two brands, the only one that I've heard back from was Estee Lauder. Um, and they just sent, they didn't give me any info. They just sent me another email address to email, which I did. And it'd been a few days and I've not heard anything back. So, yeah, I, and I know, like, I understand that they are busy people, you know. They're probably busy sending out tons of PR to all these influencers so they just don't have time to reply to a compliance question you know and I get that and I get that you know they probably need to check with people in their organization to kind of find out the facts so I'm aware that this will take some time it's definitely not a quick win but luckily I am a patient woman so I will wait and if they still don't send me any response in a couple of weeks time then I will chase. Oh yes, she will. Also, I do have a rather big update with regards to You Can Be and testing my eyeshadow palette collaboration that I did with them. Um, but I am just having to delay putting that video up because I'm just waiting for You Can Be to get back to me with something. I, I want to make sure that they are comfortable with whatever I'm putting up because um, I have a collaboration eyeshadow palette out with them but at the same time which is what I've been saying to them I feel like I have an obligation to do what I need to do let's just put it that way I have an obligation because so many of you guys have purchased that palette and you know you may purchase it anyway because you just love you can be or you just love the palette but I, I I feel like a, a lot of you guys would have purchased it to support me as well. And I would just feel like the biggest asshole in the history if it turned out to have any asbestos in it. Which I do not think it does, by the way. I do not think it does. But I won't feel happy until I've got certification to say this palette has been tested and it is asbestos free. Because, you know, throughout all of this... The only kind of certain point that I can really come to is, well, there's two of them. The first one is that I do believe that cosmetic brands should have a strict protocol of asbestos testing that they have to do, which is led by the governing bodies and then the laws. Well, the law says that, you know, you can't use asbestos in cosmetics, but there needs to be more. There needs to be like an enforcement of that law. Otherwise, 
what's the point of the law? Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you're not allowed to walk around naked outside. And if you do, you're probably going to get arrested. But imagine if you weren't going to get arrested. I'm sure, like, not me, but I'm sure there's people out there that may want to be walking around naked outside, you know, freaking out everyone. So, yeah, there, there needs to be regulation and enforcement if you're going to have a law. Otherwise, like, what's the point? Like, really? That's the number one. And then number two thing that I am pretty certain on at this point is that I will still continue to use makeup. I, as I've discussed in a previous video, you know, where I was talking about risk, and um, I do believe that there's risk in everything that you really do in life. You know, you could buy, um, you could go to a restaurant, you could buy a meal, the meal could give you poisoning and you could die. You could be crossing the road you could get run over you could die some nutter in the street could just run over and stab you and i know that all of these things you know the chance of these happening are extremely low but i just think in life you have to take calculated risks and as i've said before for me makeup it just brings me so much happiness and i enjoy it so much and not just the makeup but the creating all of my makeup videos and like I could not imagine my life without that in it you know so and um, and this is a very personal choice and I, I, what I really am keen to do is to raise the awareness um just make sure that everyone is aware of course and to try and give as much info as I can and to encourage everyone to do their own research and to you know, fact check things that I'm saying um, so that they have all of their information that they need to be able to form their own decision with what they want to do going forward with their um, consumption of cosmetics, you know, because it is a personal choice. It really, really is. Anyway, that's just my um, viewpoint on this. Uh, so I will have a video coming up in the next few days, hopefully about where I'm at with getting my palette tested um, and also you can be did send me over some reports and certificates which I did mention in a previous video that they had sent me over that info but at the last minute they didn't want me to include it in, in one of my videos and there is a valid reason for that and it's probably not the reason that you think it's going to be and I feel like such a dick for not really being able to tell you but like I'm not telling you I'm kind of like dangling the carrot of something and at, at some point in the future I definitely will tell you it but it's a valid reason and it's not because they're worried or concerned that they have asbestos in their products if that was the case I would tell you like you know that I would it's just more to do with I suppose like more of a I mean more of a like they I think they're actually being quite nice honestly but I'm going to just leave that there before I end up just telling you okay so my next steps in this whole investigation and yes it is an investigation uh um to hopefully get some feedback back from brands and be able to pass that info along to you and um also i am hoping to do a video showing um you can be's documentation because of course you know i have the, i have this palette out with them and as i've said as well like the reason why i wanted to get the palette tested is not because i suspect there's asbestos in there it's simply because i feel a massive obligation and if what i'm saying as a concrete point is that i believe that cosmetic brands should have to test rout routinely and regularly test their products for asbestos i feel like because my name and my face is on this palette and i've heavily promoted it i also have to stand by what i'm saying and you know i don't want to be a hypocrite i have have an obligation to practice what i preach so i will well i am the palette's getting tested okay so guys so next i want to um answer some questions that i have seen popping up and they popped up quite frequently so i just thought the best way to kind of answer them would be in a video uh, so that i could try and like reassure people or just answer i just answer the questions really but many people have asked me in slightly different ways but people have asked me can we trust aliexpress makeup but honestly from the research that i have done i don't think there's really that much difference between aliexpress makeup and higher end makeup or drugstore makeup they all 
seem to be floating around in this limbo limbo sea of there's no real kind of enforcement of us testing for asbestos so it's up to them really kind of how often they choose to test i can't say for anything anything else but when we talk about asbestos until until we actually hear some feedback or until brands start making statements or start you know being more transparent with their testing protocols and procedures i don't think that we can trust aliexpress makeup any less than we can drugstore brands or you know or more uh, mainstream brands and certainly like in terms of like you can be in beauty glaze and let, let's face it we know beauty glaze they massively up they really really did but from the up like they've sent me over their report certification and i have learned more about what they actually do do and the same with uh, you can be uh, for example what was really really interesting to me was um beauty glaze um, test report where they, they'd actually used um subjects or human beings uh, to actually you know they they kind of tried their makeup or cosmetics out on those subjects to see if there would be any adverse reactions i would, i honestly did not think that aliexpress brands would maybe do that so this has been like a big learning curve in general for me and you know all along in my journey with trying out aliexpress makeup i've had so many people pop up in comments asking me you know is it safe like I would also or they've been saying you know I would never buy makeup from Aliexpress because I just don't think that it's going to be good quality and you know I've never really been able to substantiate a reply to that or a response because quite frankly I just don't know but then I don't really know for Maybelline with L'Oreal and um, NYX I don't really know for those brands either but I just think there is this assumption out there that because these brands on Aliexpress are selling their makeup much cheaper than other brands they must be they must be cutting corners somewhere you know and honestly like I can definitely see the logic with that with that point I'm not discrediting it at all I think it's a really valid question but in all of this kind of research that I've done um, specifically in regards to asbestos I've actually found out that they do do testing which I didn't really think that they would have done honestly before so I was kind of living on a wing and a prayer I didn't really think about it that much honestly maybe I should have done and I can fully hold my hands up to that you know but I think I think there's going to be all the positives that will come out of this situation with the Beauty Glaze eyeshadow palette um, that maybe we will start to understand a bit more about Aliexpress makeup brands and how they produce their makeup um, you know to try and understand them better and it, I feel bad as well because whenever I am referring to Aliexpress makeup I always say Aliexpress brands or Aliexpress makeup and I know that that's probably completely incorrect of me to be calling them that because they are their own brands you know they have their own websites they just sell on aliexpress but that's how i think of them and i'm i think that's probably how you think of them you know like you can be hand on beauty lace fuckle your o o you know i just think of them as aliexpress brands and i hope that's okay i don't know but anyway so the next step was did Beauty Glaze recall their palette. So Beauty Glaze actually put a notice up on their official website, which I think they should probably have done much sooner. I think it was in 2017 that the Gorgeous Me palette was tested and it tested positive for asbestos. Okay, so I've literally been sat here for about 15 minutes trying to find the recall message and I cannot find it. Okay, so please accept my humble apologies here it was only a week it wasn't that long actually since i read this statement it's not even a statement let's face it it's a notice at best honestly but it, it was a while since i read the notice and for some reason i don't know why i had it in my head that they had recalled the palette they didn't recall the palette i'm going to read out the notice the fecking notice i think it deserves more than a fecking notice honestly and not just on the website but on instagram they should have made a point of making this known it this deserved a statement but anyway guys one sec okay so the notice 
the notice says, as we all know, the asbestos said, what? It, okay, I'm just going to read it verbatim, even though it makes no sense. The asbestos said, but oh, I see what they're saying. So they're saying the asbestos said, as opposed to the asbestos report showed 100%. Now, I don't know if this is just a translation issue that like they've maybe just not used the correct language or I don't know if they're trying to be a little bit deceptive in a way and I don't want to be too kind of cynical here but they've just said the asbestos said well no the asbestos test confirmed that there were asbestos fibers in your eyeshadow palette anyway it says Beauty Glaze, Gorgeous Me, Eyeshadow Tray Palette is not... Do you know what? I'm going to start again because I've intercepted way too much that I've lost the, the track. So it says, as we all know, the asbestos said, Beauty Glazed, Gorgeous Me, Eyeshadow Tray Palette is not safe. Then Amazon res removed the Gorgeous Me Palette and asked us to provide a test report. After one month, we offered the test report of Gorgeous Me. The Gorgeous Me palette is safe. The Gorgeous Me palette is back to stock at Amazon. Before manufacturing begins, all of raw materials of beauty glazed must be tested for safety, purity, identity and quality. All beauty glazed is safe. Okay, but where where's the proof? Where's the evidence? And it's very interesting actually because this notice seems to purely focus on Amazon, the fact that Amazon kind of distribute their palettes. So there, it's strange, like this notice, you would have thought would have been a notice that would have been sp specific to Amazon. It would have been like an Amazon notice, but it, it's like they're not actually really saying anything about the situation. And considering that this is their own website, you would have thought that, you know, they would have really taken the time to have to have made a, a detailed statement in order to reassure everyone. It's kind of like they've put this notice up because they felt they had to do something, but it's just like irrelevant because it's telling us nothing. It, it's just that they're only identifying an issue in terms of like Amazon, like our Amazon stopped selling our product and they wanted us to prove the product was safe. So then we sent them a test report. They said thumbs up and it's back on. Asbestos products are safe. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Do you know what? I'm so annoyed by this. Like I'm so annoyed. Like I don't even know if the palette was ever recalled. Like I, I don't think it was. I don't think they ever recalled it. And fair enough, like Amazon, they removed the product from their website, which is great. But did Beauty Glaze remove the palette from their their own website? Did they remove it from their official store on AliExpress? Did they uh, let all of their distributors know on AliExpress? Because on AliExpress, as you probably know, it's not only the official store that will sell Beauty Glaze products, there's numerous other kind of shops or sellers that will also sell Beauty Glaze products. So I feel like this notice raises so many more questions than answers, honestly. Also, please just keep in mind for the rest of the video that I, I've intercepted this clip in. So the rest of the video was me like incorrectly thinking that the palette had been recalled and it's not. So I just wanted to like, just say this is later in the day so yeah the palette has not been or I don't believe it was recalled I've not read anything to say it was so we're just going to assume the palette was not recalled it was just stopped it it wasn't being sold on Amazon for a month okay so anyway I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. I'm really pissed off though. Like really pissed. They checked it over. They say it's now safe. So it's back up. Do I believe them? I don't know. And I can't really verify it. Or I probably could. But I think it would take a lot of work. So I think after all of the bad publicity about that palette. But honestly after all of the negative kind of 
press about that palette and for for good reason of course you know it was substantiated i think that the appropriate and respectful thing to do would be just to eliminate that product from their brand going forward. For example, if I had my own makeup brand and I had an eyeshadow palette and it tested positive for asbestos, I would recall immediately, I would try and make sure that everyone knew and I would eliminate that product from my brand because it would be forever tainted for me. But I mean, you know, that's me, that's just me. So the next question again was one that I've received a lot and I, I wanna say thank you as well because it just once again shows how respectful and just all around lovely that you guys are. A lot of people were DMing me kind of privately asking and when, um, you know, I didn't want to put this in the comments of your video or, or the comments on Instagram, but is your palette safe? And I, do you know what? I think that that's really, really sweet that people wanted to kind of keep it. I don't know, just like didn't want to, didn't want to ask the question in public, which, you know, even if, people did I, it's a it's a fair and valid question so but i just i think you know it's i it's showed sensitivity and you know i really really appreciate that uh, however i am here you know being fully transparent saying i'm going to get my palette tested because i don't know so i can't tell so i can't say yes or no and I don't want to live on a wing and a prayer, so I'm going to just get it tested. Someone else asked, are creamier products safer? The honest answer is, I just don't know. I've tried looking into this and I've not really found any conclusive information either way to say if it's safe or if it's not. I would just say that if you wanted to be 100% 100 sure that your product didn't contain asbestos, it would be to uh, buy talc-free makeup or you know just just not buy any makeup with talc in it because i suppose there's always going to be a risk even if brands were testing constantly i believe there is always a risk that they could miss something so i don't think you would ever 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 get 100 percent confirmation unless you were buying talc free um which is why i kind of made the decision to you know be aware be informed but i'm still going to I'm still going to buy makeup with talc in it because I, I honestly, I don't, I don't think I, I could go talc free, but I definitely would not be at my happiest, let's say. And I know that a lot of people might be saying, oh, well, you know, makeup is just makeup at the end of the day. Like, is it worth risking your health for? But there's a lot of things that I could risk my health for that wouldn't bring me as much joy as makeup does. Like... I don't particularly love driving, but I still do it every day. And that carries, I'd say, a lot more risks because there's so many more car crashes each day. Um, but then asbestos, you know, it's a long-term kind of assassin. It gets you long-term. So I don't know, guys. I just want everyone to be, be informed so they can make up their own minds. And I just really want to raise the point again that I think it's really important that you do your own research so that you are comfortable with the information that you're reading. Because as we all know, you know, Google, yes, it's great. Google can be our best friend or it could be our worst enemy at times. You know, like if you've got a sore chest and you type sore chest into Google and then you then are concerned that you gonna just have an imminent heart attack so it can be really like like i'm not i don't think that all of the information that you know you search for on google and websites even websites that look legitimate i don't know how how true a lot of it is so that's why i'm i really trying to encourage you all to do your own research um because I, i'm no expert in this and i want you to make your own decisions based on what you have read or watched um but i am i'm in no place and no position to even try and pretend that i am knowledgeable about asbestos because i am getting all of my information from what i've read on the internet coupled with the i mean i do do asbestos awareness every year um as part of my job outside of youtube but that's barely touching the surface you know it does not make me an expert because I've had training 
you know what I mean? So that's why I just really want to encourage you to do your own research. Okay, so I'm just going to finish with the final question that I have been asked probably the most out of every other question. People are asking me, should they throw away all of their beauty glaze makeup? Again, this is a personal choice. I, I'm not going to tell you to throw all of your beauty glaze makeup away. I still have some of my beauty glaze makeup. Have I touched it since I found out about this? No, I've not. I've not. And will I ever touch it again? I don't know. I don't know at this point if I've maybe lost faith in the brand. I think, you know, people make mistakes, but the judge of a character is how do you go about trying to make those mistakes good? How do you resolve your mistakes? Are you open? Are you transparent? Do you, are you communicative? Do you put actions in place to ensure that those mistakes never happen again? At this point, I still am not convinced that Beauty Glaze have put in enough work to, to actually reassure us all that their makeup is safe and to reassure us that they are taking it so seriously. I'm still not quite there yet, which is the reason why I've not really touched any of my other products. What by Beauty Glaze, what I can tell you, if I had the gorgeous me eyeshadow palette, that would have been out the door like that that would have been literally been bin bagged like as soon as i found out and i would encourage you to bin bag your gorgeous me eyeshadow palette if for nothing else i think it's tainted and I, I wouldn't want you to be thinking badly like every time you know you put on your makeup that should be a great enjoyable experience it shouldn't be one where you're just reminded about that time as best as was found in a beautifully gorgeous me eyeshadow palette so um, yeah, but in terms of like, should you throw away all your Beauty Glaze palettes, that's up to you to decide. Um, I'm still not quite convinced that Beauty Glaze have dealt with the issue properly at this point. So I'm going to come back to you on that one. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this update video. I've tried to cover as much as I can. Um, the main purpose of this video is just to let you know that I've not just dropped it like a hot cake. I'm still trying to find out more, find answers, you know, of reaching out to the brands, but whether they come back to me or not, I just don't know at this point. And I do have a rather big update about the Clad Palette, which I will be putting up soon, as soon as possible. I just wanted to touch base with you all and let you know that I'm still on the crusade. I am. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you as always for your support, for your encouragement, just for everything that you guys do for me on a daily basis like thank you so much and i will um, keep in touch with you about this of course and um, we'll catch up again soon bye